Hi, I'm Jeff Lance from Picasso Piano Academy. I'm glad you're here with me today. I want to talk to you about an exercise that is an adjunct technique exercise to the mother of all technique exercises, which was covered in a previous video. Now, this exercise is also designed to help increase flexibility uh, and evenness of your fingers. Uh, and I call this exercise the crab, and the reason I do, if you've ever been on a beach where there's crabs lurking around, uh, the body of the crab is moving in a, in a particular direction, but it's not bouncing around. All the movement's happening with the legs. You know, a crab is more like this. You know, all the action is from the knuckles down but the body of the crab is pretty stable. Uh, it's a platform for the legs to do their work. Now, um, for the sake of our video, I'm gonna call that part of a hand, which is not the fingers and not the thumbs, you know, the body of the hand. And what I want you to do is I want you to put your uh, hands to the piano keyboard and get it in your basic starting position where your, uh, your uh, the body of your hand is parallel to the floor and parallel to the keys and uh, the fingers are curved, you're on your fingertips and this is our starting position. Now I want you to imagine that your hand is connected to a rail that's going uh, the length of the keyboard. So your hand is connected to that rail so the hand is not allowed to bounce up and down and it's not allowed to go in and out. It's not allowed to do anything other than just like this. And so uh, your hand would be going like this. Now your fingers are going to be doing their work, but your hand is like a, the body of your hand is a stable platform so your fingers can do what they want to do. Now, so to do this exercise, the first thing I want you to do is to take your hand and bring your fingers up as high as you can. Keep them curved like this. So, so as high as you can go. Now, I've got a lot of flexibility because I've been doing this a few decades. So most people starting are only going to be able to be able to get to about here or something. But nonetheless, you get your fingers as high as they're going to go. Okay? So we're just going to do five notes here. We're going to do C, D, E, F, G, and back down. So starting position, lift all the fingers, here we go, here's what it looks like. Your fingers are always up in between strikes, all of them, and the finger that's striking goes down, but as much as possible, you keep your other fingers high. Now, when your fingers do come down, you strike the key with your fingertip. Now, I've got one student that I taught finger staccato to, and she kept wanting to go like this, because finger staccato is an exercise where you kind of slap through the key, you're sliding on the key. But this is not that way. This is just simply fingers down, fingertips on a key. Now you start out slow, you have to start out slow because you have to get the form first. Um, if you don't get the form right, there's not much sense in trying to go faster if it's the wrong form. So I'm just gonna play, uh, I tell you what, I'm gonna play uh, the hand and one exercise, just a, just a little bit of it, and uh, uh, let you see uh, the correct way to do the form on this exercise. Okay, put hands in starting position. Here we go. All the fingers are up. As much as possible, you keep the body of your hand stable, moving only side to side to accommodate the ranges of the exercise as you move up. Now, uh, for beginners and even intermediates, hell, even, even uh, uh, 
you know, the advanced students, they're not used to doing this exercise, you're going to feel some stress right here. You might feel some in your wrist. So as always, never practice through you know, a stressed out muscle group or pain or being uncomfortable. You shake your hands and uh, let it go for a little bit and then return to it and do the exercise. But you don't, you don't want to uh, play through pain ever, okay? Um, well, that's basically it. And please uh, leave comments if you'd like. I'll try, and, I'll try and return them in a timeful manner. And if you like the video, please subscribe. Tell people you know about it. And I hope to see you on another video.